this is Nathan from Sonic Syndicate. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for taking the time to do this interview. No problem, it's fun to do. I'm here on America, on like, uh, in LA, on personal business, and uh, talking to our PR guy over here, and he's like, oh, I would love you to do some interviews, so yeah, it's fun. Oh, awesome. Well, I'm glad to be able to do this as well, and be able to promote the brand new Sonic Syndicate album, Confessions, which is coming out October 14th. Hell yeah. So... I just finally got the chance to listen to the album last night after being quite busy on my end, and I didn't read the press release, and when I clicked on the first track, I almost didn't think it was you guys, was you guys until, I, <laughs> until I read the press release, and it's like, wow, you guys have really gone through a new change. What inspired that? Everything. I mean, you know, so much. We, we listen to so much more music as a band now, where different people or we changed like a lineup for the band a lot um i think i think the biggest thing was is that we've done all that we could do with this subgenre of melodic heavy metal whatever you want to call it um and you know we're always going to enjoy it and we're always going to include elements of that but we're just just got so much more interest as a band these days and in fact we actually wrote the whole album of more of that kind of vein of stuff so definitely like melodic heavy metal and we had a whole record we did like the pre-production all the demos and we were just like two weeks away from heading into the studio we had it booked and everything and we just kind of sat down and we were just like this isn't good enough this isn't what we want to do and this is where we're at as a band now so we literally trashed it cancelled the studio and we went back and we spent another three quarters of a year rewriting like writing this album with this take on it that was just let's do whatever comes up literally let's just sit there with a vocal melody or a guitar or you know some of the, like uh these digital elements that we have and just build whatever we want don't be like focused on the genre and it just came out how it came out and we were just like this is us <laughs> let's not pretend to be anything else and i imagine it's got to be a little easier on your voice too not having to worry about screams on this album yeah yeah, I mean, screaming's fun, but uh, I kind of just wanted just to see what I could do with it melodically, see what else I could do with my voice, and pay more attention on, you know, writing kick-ass melodies, like these kick-ass soaring vocal parts, and yeah, new stuff, new stuff all the time. Always want to try to see what we can do with our instruments and our sound. And I couldn't respect that more in a band. And I, even if the material that you said was not good enough never sees the light of day, I appreciate the fact that you guys realized that instead of putting out an album that you can't be proud of, you went out and made an album that you can be proud of going in a new direction like this. Yeah, I mean, we could have put it out and, you know, it's not like it was garbage. We still wrote it. I still put, like, heartfelt lyrics into it, but it just, you know, it just didn't get me, you know, get me hard, <laughs> so to speak. I, but, uh, yeah, I sh we were just like, let's just see what else we can do. We know we can do better and we know we've got more in us and, you know, this just represents where we're at musically as people and as a band so much more. And it, it's so easy, bands, to be about just going in circles and kind of just playing safe, doing what they know. They're not risking what they can't can't do uh, and also I think they're scared of their fan base as well did any of those thoughts come to you guys when you were writing this or did none of that matter to you of course they came in our head um, and it, sure like things like that matter and we thought long and hard about it but uh, at the end of the day we were kind of done making the same kind of metal we've been doing and the way I like to best think about it myself is that if we didn't make this change now then we weren't being honest with ourselves and this is a key point now that we are going to start touring full-time and everything again uh, that we have to be honest with ourselves the, you know we've, we've had issues where we couldn't tour full-time but now we're back and we are doing it like full-on again and if I'm going to commit to this I want it to be 100% honest and 100% from the heart uh, I'm just thinking where am I going with this say the question again well I meant um uh, well, just like with the idea of uh, having your fan base, because, I mean, it is quite a drastic change from the self-titled album, but it, I mean, it is great music, but, you know, just like uh, making sure that the fans are also going to appreciate what you guys are going for as well. I think, or I know, just from talking with our fans and just being in the music scene, <laughs> These days, and especially our fans, they are broader, they have a broader spectrum of taste and a broader spectrum of music. And that's, you know, we caught, caught on to these fans when we did our We Rule the Night album. 
and it's just happening overall in music. You know, go to these and even just look at the festival lineups and stuff. It's just so much more diverse these days because people are listening to Slayer and they are listening to Paris or Justin Bieber, whatever the hell you want, or, you know, Paramore and Meshuggah. You know, people are just listening to so much more music and they're proud of it and it's not like a guilty pleasure anymore to have different music taste and there are these bands which just stick to their guns and they go you know full ball with what they've been doing for years which is great and you get some cool songs out of it and cool albums whatever acdc uh you know and there are bands which are evolving and encompassing all these different sounds and styles and you know it, there, there's place in different genres for those bands that do that and we just have so much more fun doing it and the our fans know that <laughs> Yeah, and I'm definitely one of them too, and um, when you mentioned Re We Rule the Night, I mean, that was the first time I really started to notice the more melodic side of what you guys are doing, and kind of scaling back a bit on just focusing on the metal, which is why I'm really drawn to the new album, being able to explore those melodic sides that were not showcased as much in the past. Yeah, I mean... And it just makes it open to us, you know? Who knows what the next album's gonna be. We never like to repeat ourselves, but we love the way this is going. If we did uh, the album that we were thinking of releasing, that we had these pre-production songs for, then the way I look at it, it would have really pinned us down to a genre. Like I said, we're going full-time now, again, so it's, you know, we're really doing this now. It would have kind of really dug us into this subgenre firmly and not allowed us to experience, uh, to express ourselves in different directions. And I think that would have put the long just how we are personally and where we are like with music if we would have had to commit to that it would have put the longevity the lifespan of this band now to one more album or two more album tops because we would have just you know got bored with not being able to do what we wanted now this is just 100 percent us and we love it love it seriously wait i'm so proud of this album and i've listened to it non-stop and it just feels so fresh and so right i could carry on doing music for another 10 albums like i am rejuvenated whereas if we'd have kind of kept going down this path which i know is around every corner then you know i would have seen it one two more albums tops it would have it would have killed us yeah and that definitely makes sense too i mean you never want to have to tread that same water and <clears throat> make music that you don't have your full heart behind because exactly what you said you would be able to get through one or two more albums before you just want to be done with music altogether I've seen it happen with bands. I've got so many friends in bands, I'm not going to drop names, but they are literally just putting albums out just for the sake of it, you know? It's, it's just like their job, you know, when you go to job, when you go to work in the morning and, you know, you don't want to be at work, but you got to do it to, you know, earn your bread and butter. And that just bands get stuck in these ruts. And although fans don't realize it straight away, like one, two albums, three albums down the line, they can just like tell, you know, that this is the heyday of the band anymore. And the reason is for that, because even though they say it in every press interview this isn't their favorite album this isn't what they're excited about right now they're just you know rehashing and re-walking the same path and it shows through to the fans eventually yeah and sadly that is the case for a lot of bands i mean I, I know that's the case with some of the bigger names that are out there and that's why it you don't get to see that much passion behind a new album and a lot of those bands, the fans are not going for those new albums to be excited about. They're going to hear those classic songs that they were familiar with and got them into the band. And I'm glad to see with Sonic Syndicate, you guys were able to break off from that and show music that you are really, truly inspired about with the new album. Thanks, man. No, it feels really good. So, what was the decision to go in this direction with the music? I mean, was this thought about before this uh, meeting of uh, dismissing the previous material? No, uh, that, that's what surprised us, um, and that's that's why it sounds how it does. It wasn't discussed, it just came out. We, you know, we wrote something and we weren't happy with it, and then we kind of, oh, it, sounds, it sounds weird, but then we kind of knew what we were doing, as in we have a formula, and you just try to kind of build on it <clears throat> each time when you know, you know, never from the last album to new album. What's and you kind of just build on it and put new tweaks on it, whereas, and then we stopped that, and we were just like, this isn't right, this isn't where we're at, so where are we? And we just thought, that. Let's just see what the fuck we sound like. But, you know, just sit down with the melody and just build it, not worry about genres. Was there a particular riff that where you realized that this was the direction that you wanted to go in for the new album? Um, the, 
the song Crystallized from the new album, I think was the first song we wrote. And it just had this tone and this melody. And we just like, we're on to something here. It's, you know, it just sounds, sounds crisp. It sounds fresh. It sounds poppy. It sounds like nothing that we're really listening to and doesn't sound a whole lot like we've done before. And we're just like, this is a great start. What else can we do? How can we push this even further and see what else we've got up our sleeves? Let's just fucking surprise ourselves, you know? Yeah, and that's why it came to such a surprise to me, because I didn't read the press release before being able to check out the album, so I was just expecting the Sonic Syndicate sound that I was familiar with. But then once it kicked in, I almost thought that I hit the wrong album. And then just like listening back, it's like, no, those are the same vocals. Those are the same cleans. That's the same kind of melodies that I've kind of heard in the past. And then I read through it and was checking out this direction that you guys were going in and being with an open mind that I always have with music, I can really appreciate what you guys are going for here and just taking on this new direction in a more melodic way. Thank you so much. It sounds like you really get it, which is really important. And it's fantastic. And the cool thing is is that it sounds like a shock, but there are so many more people out there with an open mind these days with music. It's kind of a, with the digital era, it is kind of a revolution that's happening, you know. You're not just, oh, it's great to have friends that you listen to, the, you know, your little kind of club together, whatever you want to call it, that gang, and you all listen to music, enjoy music together. You know, that's how it used to be. You used to hang out with your friends in your bedroom, whatever, and you used to go by buy the latest whatever tool CD and you just you know, rock out to it together. Now everything's like, you know, online and whatever stream music from Hollywood to fucking Africa, you know. Uh, so people are just finding music from everywhere and it's just making everybody so much more diverse a listener and people are going to get this and people are going to love it and this is what people need from Bandit. And in speaking of that as well, Star War just started streaming today through Spotify. That's right, boom. <laughs> First thing to release today. So it felt really good to put it out so funny people can finally hear it. Taste. So what was the decision to make Start a War the first track you wanted to show off the new album? We're just about <laughs> great rock songs, you know, solid songs, and this is my personal favorite on the album. Uh, it's a lot of our, you know, in our top favorites, a lot of our personal favorites from us and our label and our management and our friends that we've played it to, and a lot of people love this. Is like, like we love the album, and you know, this is this is a great track. We're just like, okay. Yep, it's our favorite too. Let's put it out as the single. And uh, but but more than that, it's it, it's a great message. I I love what the, the feel and the tone of the song is about. I love the uplifting kind of guitars and the pace of it, quite driving. And I love the lyrics. You know, it's it's all about not being afraid to do what you want, which represents where we are as a band now as well. It's kind of like a little biography, if you are, of where we are right now and how we got here. And it's kind of a reminder to people: it doesn't matter how cliche it sounds, if you're not happy with where you are, be the change that you want to be. You know, get your fist in the air, pull it out your ass, do what you want to do, even if it's the tiniest thing. You know, changing doesn't have to be life changing, like changing your job. Just be the person that you want to be. You know, this is kind of a reminder to everybody and a reminder to us, like a big wake up call. And it's just, it's kind of an internal start of war as well as external. So just, you know, shake things up, be happy, be what you want to be. Oh, and that's such a great message as well. And I totally picked that up through the entire album as well. And that's one thing yes. that I think a lot of people have forgotten about over the years when, uh, even when it was more on the melodic metal side, of what you guys were doing and other bands of that vein is they stuck more to the melancholic side of melodic metal and there's none of that on this album it is very uplifting whether it's from the background uh, symphonics that's going on in, in the background on this album to the clear-cut lyrics just like on Star War just that overall positive experience where you can still be heavy but you can also have it positive as well exactly it, it's like that because we're just so much more happy now writing and it, it comes through in the playing yeah and i'm i'm glad it's, fun, to it's positive yeah. and you know i'm talking about it there's a lot of dark stuff on there as well but even when you're you know writing about the death of a loved one or whatever you know that 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 message is in there in one of the songs closure and actually still believing i wrote about that uh, someone i love a lot getting very sick the point being put something inspiring underneath it yeah sure connect with people you have to explore that element of sadness to grieve but you know you have to find a way out of it as well and that's just 
we just wanted this whole album to be uplifting in that way. So yeah, it doesn't matter what we're talking about, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, and again, I'm just so happy to hear that too. I mean, just having this rejuvenation in the band, just on a physical level, the musical level, and just even with the more sorrow-filled moments of the album, just like Closure, which I was going to bring up in a, in a moment, but uh, you did as well. But, you know, just being able to get through the experiences of life and just trying to reach that positivity, it's a great message for anyone to have. It's, it's kind of a kind of an internal revelation I had a few years ago and I've always been quite wary of my self from there um we've had like a, like ever since re really when we were the night and i wrote the song my own life uh i had a lot of emails and facebook messages and it was they were all saying this either this stuff basically stopped me committing suicide and i was just like okay this isn't coincidence you know that one person's just found the meaning in the song this was like you know tens of messages people saying they didn't commit suicide because of this song and that's amazing that you know the song has had that much power over somebody in a positive way uh, but also it makes you realize and i think a lot of people neglect or do not care about enough in a band is that you know you have a lot of responsibility when you know you are influencing people's lives people are you know using music to get themselves into or out of uh, you know, moods and to you know find their, their escapism for people and i think a lot of bands forget about that so you know lyrical content it can really affect people and i just want to affect people in a positive way now yeah and if you have that power to create positivity in life that is a great feeling to have it's a it's a responsibility on not not to be overlooked i mean of course write about what means to you but if you think you can help somebody out of a funk then <laughs> why wouldn't you do it i love life i love our fans so I don't see why why more people wouldn't do that. Yeah, exactly. And again, when people finally get the chance to be able to hear the new album in October, I think they're really going to be able to connect to that on an emotional level like that. There's no bullshit on this album, lyrically. It's all relative to, it's all real. It's all something that happened to me. Uh and situations I've been in, or at least like it's a message that I stand behind shouting out loud to people like on Start a War. There's, there's literally zero bullshit on this album, which was something else that we wanted to make sure was there. There's no, there's not really, you know, lyrics just for the sake of being lyrics or because it sounds fun. I mean, yeah, there are some fun songs on there like uh, I Like It Rough as well. And that's just about seeing somebody who's just incredibly gorgeous and you become infatuated with them, you know, but that's life as well. <laughs> you know, everybody experiences that. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, it, you guys definitely show through all the different positivity aspects that go on there, from being able to get past sorrow to lust, like you just said with I Like It Rough, you know, just like all the ends of the spectrum in life. That's right. So, We're all human beings. <laughs> Yeah, it's so true. So, um, uh, getting back a little bit to uh, the the music of the album, uh, have you guys had a chance to be able to uh, jam the songs in a live setting yet? Uh, yeah, we just did a tour uh, last week. We just got back of a tour of Asia, and we played uh, Confessions, the single or the song Confessions, and Start a War Live. We've been we threw them in our live set, and we've also been rehearsing them in our studio back at home. The other songs a bit, but uh, we you know we were playing. The album wasn't out yet. So of course we we're playing a bunch of old material on the Asia tour. Um, so we, but we wanted to like throw in some more of these uh, faster paced songs, and they just fit great. A lot of like, you know the energy worked still, and they went amazing down live. We had people there, and they were just like, "You guys love those songs, don't you?" The new songs were just like, "Yeah," and just like it shows that was the best song of the set. We're just like that's amazing thing is you've never heard it in your life before. <laughs> Yeah, and I, th I think that really shows the power of the new album as well. I mean, when you, you make such a watershed change in a, a band's sound, I mean, for some people, the fans will never be able to accept that a band has changed, and then others will be able to appreciate it. And just like you were mentioning before, with the availability of the internet and people being able to explore more of their musical options, it shows that more fans of the band will be able to appreciate what you guys actually want to write. Playing live, you know, there's no, there's no hiding anything. <laughs> if you're, if you're not having a good day, it shows. <laughs> so if you're bored of playing songs, it's gonna fucking show as well. You see bands, they just stand there, and you just wanna, you just feel sorry for them. They just <laughs> look so bored. 
and I never in a million years would ever be that band. I just go crazy live and express every single emotion on my face. I'm jumping around like a crazy person. And uh, the new songs, you can just see 110%. This is going to be awesome when we're playing the, the new live set. And what's just so much more amazing to us, it's just going to open up the world to us so much more. We're back, we are like playing full time, and now we've got like distribution in the US, and uh, we got, you know, we got a team behind us work in the US, and we are going to come and tour here. And you have no idea how happy that makes us. Oh, that makes me happy as well. I mean, if you guys are coming within driving distance of where I live, I absolutely want to be able to see you guys live. Where are you at? Uh, I live in Minnesota. Uh, northeast-ish, right? Oh, it's actually uh, in the uh, Midwest. It's uh, several hours away from Chicago. All right, okay. A bit cooler than L.A., colder than L.A. there. Uh, most of the time, yeah. I mean, with uh, L.A., it's always uh, in Fahrenheit, you know, like in the 80s, 90s, or 100s. Here, it's, it either gets uh, very hot or in the winter, very, very cold. Mm-hmm. Sounds oh. like Sweden. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very much so. I think that's why there's uh, so many of the Scandinavian ancestry in the Midwest is, uh, I mean, there's a lot of the Swedish and Norwegian uh, ancestry that's in these states. Right. Uh, but um, uh, just getting back a little bit into uh, the live set, uh, with uh, this uh, rejuvenation in the band and being so excited with playing the newer songs, do you still have that feeling at all towards the older songs that you still play live? There's a bunch of songs which, you know, I'm still really connected with live from, like, you know, there, there's like a there's like a, a selection from each from each album which I still really dig doing. Uh, I mean, we're gonna, uh, we're going out on tour of a full tour of Europe in uh, November with this band Amaranth. Oh, yes. They're a really cool band, really good friend of ours. They're Swedish too. Mm -hmm. um, and before that, we've got a good, got a good, like, month and a half, two months uh, where we're, we're gonna work out the set and we're just gonna see what jives, you know, what, like, fits really well with the new material from, from the old stuff. And I would imagine more of the new album will be able to be played live since the album will be closer to being out and out during the tour. That's right, yeah. Oh, very cool. Can show the world. Yeah, I'm, uh, again, you know, it's just like from how many times I've been able to listen to the album now and just loving this new change and rejuvenation in the band. I think it's really going to show it off live. And considering that you guys are touring with Amaranth, who are also known for being able to change their styles and play the music that they want to play, I think it's going to be a fantastic tour package. Yeah, I mean, they are, you know, pretty firm in the metal genre, but they're, they're not scared. You know, there's, you know, they want to have these super poppy songs, they will. If they want to have, like, this more degent chuggy stuff, they will. You know, they're, they're a great band, and they really love their fans, too, the, the like us, and it's a really great package. We cannot wait to get the tour started. Oh, very much so. I mean, ho ho hopefully we can bring it over to the U.S. as well. I know we're we're really pushing, and we're going to play the U.S. next year. Don't know who with yet or how, but we're going to be here, so oh, guarantee that. Oh, fantastic, and I, I will be promoting that as much as I can once everything gets official with that, with the touring package and the dates and all of that. I mean, just the fact that you guys are going to be able to tour here is just going to be fantastic, especially with the new album. Thank you. Yeah, we can't wait. And it's, you know, we get a lot of people from the U.S. and we've, like, uh, messaging us and we've never really been able to commit the saying, yes, we'll be there. But now we can. So now people can start getting excited about it. Oh, very much so. Yeah. So are there any other plans for 2017 besides touring? Uh, we're literally just, we've got another couple of music videos we know we're going to do for the new album. That's always fun. Um, but other than that, just, we want to just get the new album out there. I mean, there's going to be lots and lots of things that spring up along the way, as always, you know, whatever videos, TV, acoustic specials. Uh, I know we're, th we're thinking of doing an acoustic, like a remix album, whatever, acoustic, and then also like some remixes and stuff. That's going to be fun. But right now, you know, the focus is some album versions. Oh, very much so. And Confessions is such a great album to be able to tour behind, which of course is coming out October 14th worldwide. And I could not be happier to see that everyone in the band is just so rejuvenated and so excited to be able to tour and play the music that you want to play. And I just have a feeling once everyone gets to check out the new single and they actually get to check out the album on October 14th, that everyone is just going to be excited for what's going on in Sonic Syndicate. It's 
you know, it, ru- it rubs off. <laughs> We're so excited about it. It's gonna rub off on people. They're gonna, they're gonna tell that there's just so much fucking love and heart in this. I can't wait for it to get out there. Oh yes. Well, once again, thank you for taking the time to do this interview. Being a fan for as long as I have, it was a complete and distinct honor to be able to talk to you, especially with this amazing change in the band and being able to. Before we're done, is there anything else you would like to mention that I haven't brought up yet? Uh, we've got a mini, uh, like a mini documentary series that we're putting out. Uh, they're doing, they're putting it out on New Noise magazine, but also we're throwing it up on our YouTube and all of our social media, of course. Uh, so check out the Science Kit official Facebook. Uh, so that's like a mini series, and that's not just a making of. That's not a making of the album. It's, there's a little bit of that in there, but it's more about our where we are as people, and kind of gives you an idea why this big change came. You know, we're we're kind of just where everything on our sleeve talking about life and music it's, it's pretty it's pretty interesting to check that out um yeah and we got new music videos coming out so just make sure you get on our website 